Okay, today I'm gonna be showing you some survival traps uh, that you can build in survival mode if you have the appropriate mods to... Man, this sucks! Okay, so if you have the appropriate mods to do this, you can do all of these things. And let's get in. Number one, the noob trap. Uh, this is not newbie right here, but first, I can't slash spawn point. Game mode survival. Uh, ignore the two billion XP low. My, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, just completely ignore those levels. Oh, that was just some testing that I did. Noob trap. All the trick in the book. I have no damage cooldown. So mobs, so anything can rapidly damage me. This is not an insta-kill command. And I can take rapid damage because I have no damage time thing as you can see with the cactus I rapidly take damage and yeah I get die pretty quickly but now I am going to explain how it works here well, let's go to spectator mode and enable the full bright and so first from these pressure plates we trigger a line of redstone dust that then runs into this block which unpowers this redstone torch which uh, retracts all these pistons and the same thing happens for the other side. It, so we just get a hole all filled with obsidian and we drop into lava and we also get stuck. Yeah. This thing's pretty hard to escape. Uh, especially for the noobs, a pro would just break those pressure plates. But for pros, I have number two. Uh, what do I call it? The, the, the drowning elevator. The redstone behind this is also quite simple, but it's a bit more complicated than that one. And, uh, let me show you what it does. Okay. Just walking in and... I'm stuck! I'm stuck! It'll take too much time to break out of this. And I can't go down. I'm hitting shift right now. Ow. Ah. And. Redstone behind this. Also quite simple. As you can see there is a piston. And if we go to spectator mode here. We have an entity detector that detects the player and triggers this redstone line runs into this chain of observers which powers this piston which just pushes this block from there to here which completely blocks off the ele ele elevator and finally sucks okay finally number three we have explosive chest. As you can see clearly, I did not retexture this. I will show you this is not a resource pack and not a mod. This is a oak chest. And when I open it, also nothing happens. There is a dragon egg inside. You could put any item. Note, you don't have to use iron blocks for these builds. 
I just like the way they look and I slammed them in. So you can use any solid block for this as long as it lets redstone current go through. But basically, when you open this chest, but this thing's gonna explode and I'm gonna explain it first. So for this, I'm just gonna break all these block up. Uh, that ain't good. Broke the circuit. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna break these blocks. So when you take that item out of the chest, this comparator disables, which enables this redstone torch, which uh, uh, enables this repeater, which just activates this piece of TNT. Show, um, if you want me to show this in action, bam. Get this. The whole thing blows up. So I'll show you the basic circuit that is behind this. So it's basic. It's super simple and super survival friendly. It's just a computer, a block, a redstone torch, a repeater, and a piece of TNT. You with this chest that has the item inside of it. This is all the circuitry here. Or look, I'll place a piece of glass here. A repeater cannot power the TNT through the glass, so you can see what's happening here. When I take out the dragon egg, the redstone torch enables enables this repeater, and this, if it were a solid block, it would ignite the TNT and explode it. And when I put it back in, the repeater is disabled. That means you got no worries. But take out that and the whole circuit is gone and exploded. And yeah, these traps are pretty good. So I'm soon going to be making function data packs for 1.17 and stuff. But that's probably not going to happen. Mm, because the thing is, uh, well, I've got thousands of controls here, and uh, I probably lied about those thousands, but I have at least 25 or 50 controls in my Minecraft, and they all get reset when I mm, do that 1.17, so... Yeah, that it ain't really a good thing, but I'll try to do it. So, guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.